a look at this absolutely gorgeous shot of Uptown Charlotte tonight. Just a few clouds out there. We've been showered in sun all day. A great day to get out of your house, stretch for a little bit, enjoy the weather, and maybe even teach your kids and do some outdoor remote learning. It's also a great time of year to go to the Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden with all the flowers in bloom. It's absolutely gorgeous, but they announced now they're going to temporarily close. Yeah, meteorologist John Aarons has a look at why this is especially sad right now. Well, this is when Daniel Stowe is at its finest. The blooms are all peaking. The colors are so vibrant. Check this out. This is the Japanese plum. Just beautiful. This is the busiest time of the year for Daniel Stowe, and instead, you're not going to find a soul here. This loss is far more than economic. We're really heartbroken. The Easter season brings out the lilies, tulips, and the families, but also the crowds. A big no-no right now. The staff here now is sliced by over 80%, and now Daniel Stowe joins the growing list of natural escapes that are cut off by COVID-19. As humans, we have such a connection to nature. We want to be outside. You know what maybe hurts the most here is that this place could have been an ideal spot to get away from all the chaos that we're finding ourselves in now. You know, back in 9-11, this was a crucial spot for people to meditate and de-stress and get back to nature. It's painful for us as an institution knowing that we have historically served in, in that sort of a role for people to be able to rejuvenate not to be able to do that. But just like spring rises out of winter, leaders say this lovely place will too bloom again. We are looking forward to getting open as, as soon as we possibly can. But in the meantime, horticulturists are going to be out taking pictures of the prettiest blooms, some of their favorite plants, and they'll put that on their website so you can have some connection to nature. We'll put a link of that on our website, WSOCTV.com. Back to you.